What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and we are checking back in from a familiar location, Gatorland. And today is a special day because they are celebrating 75 years of operation. There's a lot to see and do for their birthday celebration. Let's go! Just checking real quick before we get started. Well, welcome, everybody. All these beautiful people up here, I'm going to introduce them in a moment. All right, uh, they're special friends of ours, and, 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 and glad to have them. As are all of you, special friends of ours. So give yourself a shout out. Thank you, everybody. My name is Mark. Uh, I'm, I'm CEO here. Great to see everybody. Thank you for showing up. We're going to be pretty brief out here today because I know y'all want to get in the park. We've got some uh, some fun activities going on this morning. The monsters in the morning are in there having a good time. Gatorland was started in 1949 by Owen and Pearl Godwin, and they had their four children. They were young children back then, Owen Jr., Sue, Mary Lou, and Frank, and the six of those started Gatorland in 1949. And uh, it is, is, has been a great run, it's been a tough run, to make it 75 years, but we did it through the generations. So give yourself a round of applause, because y'all save our rear ends coming together. And it's not just you guys, but especially the Florida resident. Yes. Every time we meet disaster, building burns down, park gets flooded, COVID shuts us down. When we can get back open, the Florida residents come storming in here and they save us. We are deeply woven into the fabric of the community in both Osceola and Orange County. We don't know a county line. We're in both counties and we're in Central Florida, but the Florida residents come storming in here and they save us and they keep us from going under. So we are uh, incredibly thankful uh, and blessed to have a community of Florida residents that, that, that keep us afloat. Whereas Gatorland is celebrating its 75th anniversary after opening as Orlando's first theme park in 1949. Since then, Gatorland has welcomed Orlando residents and visitors from around the state, nation, and world for a distinctly Florida experience. The 110 acre park includes thousands of alligators and crocodiles and nature walk, petting zoo, educational wildlife programs and shows. The city of Orlando is proud to join the Gatorland 75th anniversary. We recognize that Gatorland has helped make our community more vibrant and provides a unique family friendly experience for residents and visitors to enjoy. Now therefore I, Buddy Dyer, Mayor of the City of Orlando, do hereby proclaim May 17th, 2024 as Gatorland's 75th Anniversary Day in the City of Orlando. All right, all right, well we're gonna get on in the park here. We're gonna wrap it up uh, in just a second. But I, I, I wanted to leave you guys with, with one thought. I'm the, I'm the son-in-law, all right? I've been running the Gatorland here for 28 years long as my wife Diane, but I'm the son-in-law in the family. You know how much fun that's been. So, so I want to leave you with the thought. You know the difference between in-laws and outlaws, right? Outlaws are wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's true. All right, we're going to get going here. we got one little final big celebration to kick it off, and then you're going to enter through the admissions. Come on in the park and have a good time. We appreciate everybody being out here kicking off our 75th birthday. Y'all ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Right, so the festivities have kicked off. We're inside the park. Look at all them gators. Miss, would you mind telling me about cheesecake? Sure, so like you said, this cheesecake, she's about a year and a half old. She's an albino alligator. So you can see she's all white with some of that yellow striping all down her body, kind of like the baby alligators would have. 
but she lacks all pigmentation. And she has those pink eyes, um, where you've heard us talk about the leucistic ones, those have the blue eyes, those are way more rare. There's probably a couple hundred of these guys in existence. We have quite a few of them right here at Gatorland. And uh, she's just one of our little babies that we have. Um, and because she is albino, luckily it's uh, overcast today, but she can sunburn a little easier than a regular alligator. So we uh, make sure that she is monitored out as far as the sunlight goes. And she's getting feisty. She's sprinkling. I think she likes it. You want to pet her? You can touch her on the back of the tail. See what she feels like. <laughs> It's harder than I thought it was. Yeah, the be. back is real hard, all yeah. those scoots, but if you feel her little leg, feel how soft and squishy that is. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we're about to watch something called the Florida Man Challenge. Yeah. Mystic and Mayhem. All right, I can get with that name. We have the two alligators right there.
Well guys, that's gonna do it for our video here from Gatorland in Orlando for their 75th anniversary. Do you wanna say thank you to them for inviting us out? It was awesome to see all of the animals and uh, check out the experiences as well. If you've never been here before, highly suggest it. Of course, we're gonna have plenty more updates from here, so if you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and the website formerly known as Twitter at Midway Mayhem, and I will see you out on the Midway.